Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, She of Three Angels. I hope everybody's having a great Saturday. I worked last night um, and I actually did a Dollar Tree and 99 cent haul yesterday. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get that recorded right now for you guys. I'm going to start off with the Dollar Tree. So let's dig in. I needed some more um, of these bins for my washi tapes on my craft table. So I went ahead and picked up two packages and there's three in each. So um, I needed to add two more rows because my washi tape is just kind of getting out of hand. So I thought I would pick up two of these. And I also picked up another one of these hooks. I already have one in my craft corner, but, oh, excuse me, I needed another one. Um, I was been kind of catching up on videos and was watching some videos from Paloma at Coupon to Provide. And she actually used this to hang her scissors. And she has craft scissors. And this, I know this isn't a craft scissor, but she was hanging them this way <clears throat> um, next to her craft station. And then she would put like one here, one here, one here. So I wanted to pick up another one of these and hang up my craft scissors in my craft corner. So they would be easily accessible. So there was one of those. And she also, um, on a video did a DIY of one of those um, turntable boxes where you can put your craft stuff in. I'll go ahead and link that video below so then that way you can kind of see what I'm doing. But it included one of these poster boards. I know you really can't see this, but it's a poster board. And I think hers were pink. I don't know where she got pink ones from. But I got one poster board. I got mine in black because my craft corner is kind of turning into this black and white theme. Just something basic in general. And then I picked up one of these project display boards, the ones that open up three ways. I don't know if you can see that. But I guess this provided some stability in creating that turntable craft holder. Or craft supply holder, I should say. And it also included two cake pans, so I picked up two of those. And then, I think other people have seen this, but you stick marbles inside the cake pan. And then, actually inside the bottom one, you put them in here, of course, outside of the bag. And then this one, when you have it on top, it kind of turns. So, that's going to be a project. And... Um, like I said, I'll link it from Paloma's Coupon to Provide um, YouTube channel so you guys can see what I'm working on. She also had a creative idea of taking these magnetic clips. And on the outside of the box on one side, she hot glued maybe two or three of them so you can kind of put some papers or some stickers on the outside of the box. So I picked up one of those. And I think that's it for the project. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into some household items and then maybe some electronic stuff and some fun stuff at the end. So I did pick up one of the bonus packs of the power clips. We seem to always run out of these and I thought what I could do is maybe on one side of these I could glue a hot glue a magnet to it and stick it to the fridge or maybe just let these ones kind of lay loosely in my my bread box so there was that and I found this duct tape with 4th of July coming up I thought it was really pretty it's very patriotic so I did pick up that there's some other duct tapes I wanted to pick up but I've kind of put myself on a little bit more of a budget because I've been kind of going crazy with the debit cards. So I only picked up one. 
I also picked up two of these USB cables for charging our cell phones. We seem to be misplacing these or I'm always needing to pick these up and I went to one, two, three Dollar Trees yesterday and one ninety-nine cent store and I, the last Dollar Tree I went to, I found two of them and these were the only colors, but I guess color doesn't matter when all you really need it for is charging, so I did get two. And for some other household items, I went ahead and I picked up this Luscious Lavender Scented Candle. And I thought it was really cool because the outside of the candle is actually, I think it's wrapped with one of those little plastic wraps, but I've already burnt it a little bit. I lit it this morning so I could get some sleep and I hope that it would uh, calm me down a little bit and help me relax, but there was that one. And actually the candle inside smells better than the throw. There's not much of a throw off of this one. So just to let you guys know. And my friend at Lisa Halls, she has been hauling these candles. I guess there's one that's in a rose scent. And this one I got in lavender. And it smells not as strong as lavender, but she highly recommended these because the throw was amazing. So I can't wait to try this one in my bedroom and see. Um... My bedroom's not very big, so maybe the throw will be a little bit stronger since it's a smaller room. So those were there. Thanks, Lisa. Some health and beauty. I did buy two of these, the Colgate Sparkle White and the Cinnamon. Now, I am a huge Colgate fan. One of my other YouTube friends, Trisha, mom of two boys, she buys this all the time, and I just usually had always bought the regular Colgate, but with it having like a, the sparkling white where it kind of brightens your teeth a little bit, I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. So I did buy two. I've already opened one, and it's in the bathroom, but it had 42% more free. And I needed more of these. These were hard to find, too. These were the um, tweezers with the little mirror and the little carrying case. Someone recommended these and for the life of me I can't remember. It may have been Lynette at Cheaply Chic. She said that if you find these, pick them up. She said that these tweezers are like the best tweezers and she is right. I love these. So I gave my last one away in a pocket letter. So I wanted to find a couple more, and I only picked up two because I'm on a budget, so um, the budget dictates how many I can actually get. So I'm holding on to those. And then I did see everybody hauling this, the Wet n' Wild Enhance and Define. Bleh. Here I go. Um... It's not a waterproof mascara, but everybody has been hauling it, so I thought I would give it a try. I got mine in the very black. My eyelashes are really thin and short and um, almost hard to see without mascara on, so I have to go with that very black in order for them to stand out. So I'm excited to try this. I hope it's not like other mascaras that tend to flake off or kind of run under your eyelids because um, that's one of my pet peeves. So there was the Wet n Wild. And some fun stuff. I got some stickers. I found these. I've been looking for them. I got the pink hearts, the red hearts, and I got the blue stars with 4th of July coming up. Um, we have not... I have been having a hard time finding these, so to find them at the last Dollar Tree I went to, oh my goodness, I'm looking at that, um, the ceiling fan is making this reflection in the paper, and it could possibly make someone dizzy, so I got those. Like I said, I've been having a hard time finding them, so I saw them, and I just had to pick them up. 
And last but not least, some other fun items. Um, fifth grade science camp is coming up. And my cabin mate is actually um, one of my daughter's best friend's mothers. So we've been kind of planning how to decorate the cabin. And we're going with a Hawaiian theme. So I got this. And this is just a little blow-up thing. And I thought it would be fun if they use these for props for pictures and stuff, kind of like a photo booth. So there's that one. And you can't have Hawaiian without a macaw, which is a balloon. We can blow that up. There's that one. And pink flamingos are essential with a Hawaiian theme, or tropical theme, I should say. So there's the that one. And then, of course, nothing is complete without a palm tree. So I thought these would be kind of fun for um, it, when we did photos and stuff in the cabin. Um, it would be fun to have those as photo props. So there's those. And we wanted to dangle some paper lanterns. So I got this pattern. And I thought it was kind of tropical. I don't know if you're getting that. But um, these are the ones that have the lights in them. So I'm going to have to bring some batteries with me so those can kind of glow in the light at night. So I got two. And I also got two of this teal blue color. It's actually a dark teal blue, and I like that. It'll look pretty when it's all lit up. And, of course, teal blue is my daughter's favorite color. And since she's in my cabin, I'm going with the teal blue. So I got two. I got two of those. So that be it for this Dollar Tree. I'll leave you on these so you can stare at them while I ramble. And um, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and close this Dollar Tree haul and um, I'm going to do a 99 cent haul here right after this video. So please, please stay tuned for that one. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed and like to see more of my videos, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. I hope everybody is having a great start to their weekend and we will talk to you soon.